I unfortunately can't not do that for an extremely long time, otherwise uh, it causes problems. Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. It's like you huge wreck your card. Would be pretty funny though. The, the problem with voice acting like that is, of course, you have to speak for like hours doing stuff over and over. The most demanded thing to do in voice acting is shout. Yeah. For hours with repeat takes. <laughs> Well, Pillars, Team 1A, and Team 2OSP were still testing the beam fix at Al. A bunch of other bug fixes and quality of life changes. Um, but the most notable has been beams, because beam destroyers being back on the menu has been quite a big and dramatic shakeup in the meta. I don't know how closely you, dear viewer, have been keeping up with such things, but generally speaking, rocket shuttles have been off the menu. They've been replaced by multi mission tugs and gun shuttles, but beam destroyers being around makes rocket shuttles. Good again. OSP has, and it's been very interesting watching the play and counterplay and counter counterplay and counter counter counterplay. There. Watch some more. OSP spread out all over the map. So is ANS. Hoping to have a uh, much better game than last time. Our team comps were kind of throw on ANS side. Dropping down with a ROM. Plasma Bulk Freighter. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, ROM has triple bulk fridge plasma, 250, 250. Okay, that's kind of an old classic. Wow, what is this OSP team? Pi has a swarm of tugs and monitors. So, P man's with gun tugs. This is just. and some jamming. So, this is just a frig blob, but OSP. That's very silly, and I hope it works for him because this is super jank and weird. Especially with the C30s being kind of eh. Or, uh, no, 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 the C-30s are fine, actually. It's the C-53 uh, that's kind of eh. Internet Explorer has one revolver ship. Very dangerous, very deadly. The doof. And a whole bunch of rock shuttles, looks like. And two gun shuttles as well. Okay. Blue Bot's got Tug Swarm, Tug Swarm, huh? Tug Swarm? Ah, uh, MMTs, boo. Meta Slave, boo. The enemy is and a mass driver bulk freighter. Team's rocking double axe firds, and my combat. UI is still broken. I fucking forgot to report this. Oh, John Nebulous. Uh, I'm gonna actually do that right now. Uh, before I forget. Because if I wait until the end of this cast, I'm going to forget again. So, excuse me for a second. Corbeau's got two gun frigs and two, yeah, I'm just going to have to manually look at these ships. Two, ah, uh, this is rail fleet. Three rails, fighting rails with 250s on them and stone walls. And presumably some soft kill back here as well. Maybe some of them, some just soft kill. Jams rocking double. Fuck. Okay, Mark 61's on the top, Mark 64's on the bottom, that's 120 and 250. Oh, he's fossil, it's very interesting. And a couple of gun and VLS-2. With the S2Hs and then sprinters instead of the customary torpedo sprinter. It's uh, one A-cap getting obliterated. Monsters rocking. A little more of a standard build here, double 250 voxels with the LS3 backpacks, presumably with S3Hs. No, torpedoes in the back. Okay. And then two jam sprinters. Supporting some full points on them. So, you've already started with the bloodbath. One sprinter down, one black cat uh, completely fine. I'm surprised this isn't getting RPF to hell. Uh, Dram's having some issues with the rock here. BF down the field, and there's a rock not quite in the way, but kind of in the way. It will pop on the rock. Both teams taking the naturals, of course. This is, oh yeah, this is just fillers. 
basic as it gets. What is Pi doing over here with these? The enemy secured zone at this one. I told Pi in the last game he needs to be kind of standoffing with the, the Frig Swarm. But I don't know what you do with a Gun Tug Swarm. Usually you put missiles on them. The guns don't just, just don't have the oomph. Especially against this thing, this team, I think these guns are going to be kind of pathetic. They're not going to be very effective against the voxels. They're going to be good against the destroyers, but the destroyers are going to primarily be, or presumably be, staying out of range. Since they got rails on the nose. Oh yeah, rail bug fix. Uh, this previous patch, when plasma got fixed, rails got broken, and they started doing half damage. They're now back out to their original state of doing damage. setting fires and causing problems. This is one unhappy MMT. MMT's turning around. But man, the rails? Plus the RPF. Really good work. So the rail set fires and do crits everywhere, and then the RPF comes in with more small volumes of damage splashed all over the ship. They gel pretty effectively. Yeah, there's the tug getting shut down by all this. So RPF has pretty high DPS. It's just spread evenly over everything, and if you combine that with fires, it's actually pretty powerful. This tug's just gonna die pretty quickly. Nice, nice. Pi still camped out on Bravo, overwatching Alpha. Not a bad place for him to be, honestly. And pillars uh, controlling the middle point is kind of the victory condition. Lobster looks like going for Echo, which is a pretty good idea. Most of the MSP team concentrated Alpha Bravo line. The MMT's scattered all over the place. And rocket shovels also scattered all over the place. And the uh, mm. tug swarm, tug and monitor swarm over here in a tactical clump. And Ron's, yeah, also probably like alpha. Mm. Yeah. One ton getting absolutely annihilated by a bulk freighter fire by the two. With its 250. The enemy is securing the MT's on the bottom side of the map is down. It's going to free up Lobster and Grammys to move around over there without getting spotted as much. I don't know say that, but they're still on. They're still on radar. There are rocket shuttles behind them. Getting a really nasty spot. Looks like Rocket Shell is moving up for uh see if there are any goalie destroyers back at ANS's spawn, but there aren't. Fortunately Corvo is still fighting. Oh no, this is a different tug. This is a different tug that's getting the blue red burrows. <laughs> oh my. Quite something to see these work. It's easier to tell when you're a spectator how effective something's being. A lot of people complain about uh, rails not being good, but they're wrong. And these dispersed ships are just getting cut to shreds by the slightly more concentrated ANS fire teams. Uh, quad voxels on the lower side of the map. Rail destroyers on the upper side of the map are just slowly taking apart OSP's sensor network, which is exactly what they need to be doing. And with these, these tugs being kind of stagnant back here, being a little too passive. Venus is going to be able to run away with things on the Echo Delta side of the map.
Dune's getting into position, which could spell disaster, especially if the voxels are busy, busy shooting at other things. I'm specifically RPFing a shuttle that's got just enough defilade that shells are popping on the rocks. Voxels have angled a little bit better. And this thing's gonna go down real quick to uh, not much RPF. <laughs> That's where I'm coming out, getting engaged against one of the voxels. 100 millimeter AP though. It's just kind of sad. Plasma's hopping enough the voxel though. That's gonna add up real fast. Oh yeah, it's already happening. As those 100 millimeter rounds are going into the uh, the cooked parts of the voxel. But it will be not dead, but certainly messed up. Really backing off. Looks like lobster is going around the wide angle on Echo. Plasma bulk freighter plus tug swarm. Pretty dangerous combination. Yeah, I learned. Instead of just on occasion. Oh boy. Things toast. What in the world has Chibi been doing during all this? So I'm just kind of firing 450s down the field. Not really sure what he's firing at. Uh, maybe the Doom? Yeah, it only has one 450 hole in it though. Two? Two 450 holes. Backline anchor axe for it's are pretty good, but you really gotta get that cap advantage for, to make them good. The enemy is securing zone eclipse. Mute of Greta, here's another voxel getting torn apart by one bulk freighter, two plasma monitors, and more 100 millimeter and you can shake a stick at. Sprinter on Echo, but the Rocket Shuttle has moved in and is preventing the calf from going off. While well, this Rocket Shuttle has had its gun stripped, it's not going to be able to hurt the Sprinter. And it's actually going to get it. Boink. Enemy points down, but they're up a cap. These plasma monitors are peeking out the plasma at a pretty good rate. They're having some accuracy problems. But that's, that's a lot of plasma fire. It's pretty cool. I'm still not used to plasma monitors being good and reasonable. Even though I have a fleet with a couple of them in it. It's just kind of... <sighs> Do you remember grenade using those? I do. I do remember <laughs> grenade using those. This was so bad, dude. <laughs> so funny. Um, a couple people have been getting into the channel recently and like watching the backlog from start to finish, which is very wow. brave considering I have like three or four hundred videos up at this point. Wow. And they're almost all an hour long. <laughs> um. Yeah, and that's something else. Like a lot of the older videos are irrelevant, but hey, people are interested in what they're interested in. That's fine. I get it. I watch old irrelevant StarCraft videos all the time. I understand. 
if it speaks to you, it speaks to you, and that's the end of it. But uh, a couple of people have been talking to me about them, and it's caused me to be like, all right, I, I actually have to go and look at these because I, I have no idea what you're talking about because this was eight months ago. Um, and I can't help but watch them and be like, wow, we were so fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first couple of times where like, I put the, an empty globe where we had that fight night and it was like, oh man, we're playing top line net, but now I look at that and I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's actually a really good example. Because I know right. both the pilot net folks and the Coliseum folks felt like they were playing super high level. And honestly, for the time, it was pretty fucking high level. Right. But the player base has gotten so much better, and we've also yeah. gotten so much better. I think Colson is fully outstripped us at this point because we like play on weekends with this place is like never grind set 24 7, never stop. Uh, but yeah, it's still. I, I think that's the thing where like the stacks are still just like the people who bother to stack become better at a such an exponentially faster rate, and people who just pub is still true. Oh, yeah, no question. Right. Oh, okay, I feel like the game, by the way. Well, we, we have been making history, in a way. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Firing 18 to the down, 450 HE. Add up after a little while, but this thing is quite tanky, especially if all these rounds just miss. Even with a lock? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we completely changed how testing was done. It's gone from just a handful of private testers occasionally doing testing matches to now apparently people are just like pubbing test games on main. I'm pretty happy. Yeah, yeah the, the pilot uh, fight night is also today and we had all of it on. Uh on the test branch, and we concluded the test branch is, uh, yep, may as well just stay there. Yep. As yep. usual. Oh, yeah. God, those beans are scary. Like, I was playing Hanukkah, and just like, I, I see a track pop up, and then two seconds later, the, the annihilating green light is here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> quite nice. And I know the peanut guys started doing that after, uh, you and Fire Up and a couple other people exported that from here. We, we, we export a lot of tech, right? Where currently everyone is busy trying to beat the S2, the, the stealth bomber corpse. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> like, there, there's like an arms <laughs> pipeline. The funny thing is, it includes like a lot of personal idiosyncrasies. So, like, the top MN I run in all my cap plates has become like a thing because I've just given it to everybody. <laughs> That's right. so funny. Whereas it's like nowhere here because there's so much more stuff around. Right, things things propagate sometimes. That's good. Huh? I made like an oak with real soft kill and gave it to everybody, and, and that's standardized too. But I think I think I should. I mean, some of the stuff that's like new and good, but I feel I should go through the old ones and make like you know, here is my up to date for newbies version of oak and birch and all that lot. Right. It is very strange when you when you go onto the online and you go like, Oh yeah, I've read I read your guide, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I, way what? back in the midst of time, I made like OSP update version of Star Sleets for all of them with like blobs. I should do that again. Oh boy, here comes the torch from Voxels. Man, I wish I could get a stream. So I can see what's going on. Man, decoy, I fucking told you I'm recording. I can't, I can't stream and record at the same time. I just swear it is. Sad. want to see Sad. the game, come sit in the spectator slot. We got like 20 of them. Give me, give me hot joint, you cowards. Oh my god, well, that's a dead bolt freighter. Welcome to torpedoes. Welcome <laughs> to tor plane. NS, down a point. Down 70 score. Doing this weird flanking thing. I, I'm getting really annoyed with 
people who aren't on my team doing these giant flanks that are just bad. People who aren't on your team? Yeah, because when people who are on my team, I say, no, don't fucking do that, it's bad, and they don't do it. Uh, and, you know, we don't we don't throw the game immediately. Right. I've been trading my uh, teaching my girlfriend how to do nab, and uh, she has picked up Beam BV with frightening speed. Uh oh. <laughs> your girlfriend is me, I guess. Yeah. Hope not. Because this... all due respect. <laughs> 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 Uh, that's a good response to that. Uh. Yeah, it was like, first game of the night tonight, uh, what's an FBA, why aren't these beams killing people, what's going on, it hasn't left seal or match. Last game of the night, 36k damage, two monster squadrons devastated, A taken. <laughs> nice. And that's good. Everybody's got to have a talent, and honestly, there aren't enough beam battleship players out there. Aww. Yes. Yeah, we've got like one. It's definitely not me. Couldn't be me. <laughs> I believe Misk is talking about the final map, folks. No, yeah, we, we got we got Tom, who's been growing oh, beam since I the day of Netwatch. I got confused because you're saying we. And I just, yeah, as a, yeah. As a royal we. Uh, no, Misk is, Misk is a, a foreigner. He's from Peanut. Mm. <laughs> He's not one of us. Yeah, me and Pyro oh, and a right. couple of people. There's a lot of overlap. Yeah. A lot of overlap. Hugs. Yeah, it's just fun to see how the different pocket methods evolve. What other, like, little pockets are there? It's like... Pilot net here. I don't think. I think they're the big ones. The no black white thing. I think he's got like a no, like a. Uh, over it's kind of dead. It's just sort of become a hangout place for the people that are kind of banned from everywhere else. <laughs> Lol. Yeah. Classic. The, the pit, as it were. It's significantly worse, in fact. <laughs> So, it's not that great. Yeah, Legends of the Nebulous guys did stuff for a really long time, but they just haven't been playing games that much anymore. That's a shame. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. I'm just not. It's just the way that it is sometimes. Say the V. Oxel's getting pushed off the map by these tugs, mm. but the, <laughs> the 450 mm. experts coming on to the alpha point to cap it. While fighting bulk freighters constantly, forever, always, always the bulk freighters. ANS up a point. Still down by 100 score though. They kind of lose it militarily. Well, maybe not. Blue lost all the dispersed fleet. Looks like Corvo's just sort of been running around the map, destroying those with impunity. Ooh, and now Corvo's. Leading one of the mass driver bulk freighter, which only has two teams, not going to be able to handle these fires at all. Like, at all, at all. This thing's in big trouble. He's going to, yeah, he's sending all his frigs down to the point to cap it. I don't know, maybe, maybe the voxel flank was the play, because these voxels, I mean, they're dying for it, but they're pulling off and distracting these tugs. Getting them horribly, horribly out of position. So maybe, maybe it's a good thing. I don't know. One fleet, four, one fleet. Then probably not. But ANS is certainly capitalizing on it. Both freighter getting RPF right now. So it's a little silly. <laughs>
Doom set up to quite a bit this match. It's still carrying on. The enemy is securing some Although, boxer. Oh yeah. Hulk Fighter down. We'll grab him Bravo. And it's gonna be up by three points. It's gonna be a pretty big deal. It's gonna allow them to close that lead real quick. And really the only offensive capabilities from the OSP are concentrated around Echo, a little bit off map. And the Doom heading up towards Charlie. Just getting shot at from quite a few sources. But, uh, he's shooting back now. Yeah, that is pretty good at that. Fire at the Doom. It could be a big problem, especially at this angle. Watch the crits add up. It's not as bad as I thought it'd be, but it's pretty bad. combination. Rails deal some damage and start tons of crits and keep the DC teams very busy and the 450 does a lot of damage. The enemy is securing zone common. He's gonna maybe get the capture off on Charlie though. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't have a drive. What else is over here? Ah, okay, there is a friggin' nearby that has a drive that can swoop onto the point once the Doom gets killed. Why split up the blob a little bit? Still pursuing the world's most beat up voxel. has managed to get the take a lead up by 30 points lost Charlie but they're still ahead on caps and the doom's going down bomb well, still on the field with all the bulk freighters but we just don't have the, the juice really. so yeah, I don't know, Chief's expert's looking pretty cooked. Especially on this port side. How's the other one doing? Uh, super cooked on the bottom. A little cooked on the starboard. A teeny tiny bit cooked on the port. Mm. 
He's got all these beat to hell tugs flying around the map. Oh, there goes Lobster. For Delta, I think it's gonna get it off. The enemy secured uh, zone atlas. No beam destroyers on this team. You know what's most exciting to me about this patch? AMS is getting a buff the enemy that is isn't a buff to capitals, boxer. which means playing the, the new thing attack. that's exciting and fun and interesting is actually going to be possible in a pub match. Fuck yeah. Because when the Capitals got buffed, I was like, oh, I, I you know, I've never really played Capitals. I'll, I'll maybe try those out. Nope, sorry. It's all literally anybody is doing. Because they were playing them when they were bad. You bet your ass they're going to be playing them when they're good. But I don't... I think after the first, like, three or four days, lobbies are going to normalize and beam destroyers are going to go back to being kind of uncommon. Yeah. Normally, how that goes. Yeah. Big, uh, big excitement phase for like uh, a week or so, and then it dies off. Oh man, is OSP gonna five cap ANS here at the fifth hour? Yeah, ANS thirty points ahead. It's eight fifty to eight twenty two, but OSP is five caps and ANS is zero. That's big. That might be the game right there. Desperately to get something done. Where is this going and why is it not going for Charlie? Chief is gone for Delta, but this Axford is already pretty plasmid. It's getting more plasmid. Not gonna help with this angle for those uh, 100 mils. Yeah, OSP 50 points ahead, and it's 100 from the victory, and they got five caps. That's the ball game. AMS just can't at this point. Adramus recognizes it. <laughs> that was a good game. GG. Like we're getting to the uh, getting to the nap part of the night. Mm. Drive tanking very strong, very impressive. Contesting zone common. Certainly on purpose, definitely not just a micro mistake. The enemy is securing zone common. It was down. Yeah, it's getting Charlie back, but it doesn't matter, it's too late. Must be 30 points from the, uh, from the end. Take a look at what's on the field for both teams. We got two Axfords, Marines, three destroyers, two sprinters. SPS has three bulk freighters, two monitors, a handful of tugs, and a shuttle. 
Pretty bloody game. Good work on those axe hurts, but not good enough. Really good work. God, really good work on the rails. Look at that rail damage. Well, I guess. No? Uh, no. Uh, hybrid. Really? Uh, it's not, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, this, this is my fleet from six months ago. I literally just opened an old fleet file for this game. 300 rail hits, that's a lot of fires. Yeah, what, what were you targeting for a lot of the... Uh, the things I targeted with rails for, well, for to start with, they were the MMTs at the top of the map. I needed to kill those to get those out of the way. And then it was line ships, pretty much all the way down. Yeah, you were probably shooting. You were probably shooting internets, right? Oh yeah. Makes sense. This was the ships at sea. Let's see. Sorry for uh, exiting out of the after action report there. I meant to click ready, but I hit main menu. Uh, I'm not sure how obvious it is, but I'm getting pretty fucking tired. <laughs> uh, that's the end of that video. Hope you have a good day. Good night. Or well, I'll be through Zane. All that good stuff. Seeing the Battlespace 2 viewer.